So I've been an advocate for NAMI for many years, ever since Harriet Comfort ran it back in the 80s. Uh, NAMI, uh, I refer lots of people there. Uh, it's a wonderful organization. It supports education, advocacy for patients with mental illness, um, to help them build better lives, live healthy, and supported by a community that cares. Um, NAMI offers something that many people don't, and that is psychoeducation, uh, education about mental illness, and provides it to families, patients, and the community as well as professionals. Um, is it necessary? It's very necessary. If you've noticed in the news, mental health budget gets cut every year, um, and the uh, benefits to the mentally ill uh, routinely get uh, dropped. Why does that happen? Um, one of the biggest challenges to the mentally ill has been stigma. And stigma is interesting because it is a word that actually comes from Latin, which means to brand with, burn, with a burn mark uh, and to be, it, it implies a negative uh, uh, kind of impression, sort of like poverty, but in this case it's mental illness. So one of the biggest challenges then is to overcome that because patients are told things like you have a character deficiency, uh, just get over it, uh, it's all in your head, comments like that. So. It's interesting that the word mask, which you've all been using lately a lot, also has some meaning. It comes from an Arabic word, um, which basically means to ridicule, to conceal, and to hide, which many patients uh, suffer with, certainly. So, for example, in mental health crises, when there's a crisis in mental health, the ambulance doesn't come, many times the police come. We know a lot of our patients end up in jail, and a lot of them end up homeless, all of which make their well-being deteriorate dramatically. So we all have to fight the stigma, and we have to fight the mask. Um, psychoeducation, again, begins with children. We have to demystify mental illness. We have to take it away from negative feelings. And you know, there have been some famous people, we, I can't name them all, who have bravely unmasked actors and actresses and politicians, they've written books. It's very helpful because then patients don't feel quite so alone in their suffering. It gives hope. Um, so mental health and addiction can affect anyone. So what can we and NAMI do? There was an article in the Lancet, a medical mag uh, journal very well known in, in 2016, which did a study. They found out that psychoeducation worked almost as effectively as drugs and therapy, which is kind of fascinating. So, what I'm trying to say here is, we have to take off the mask. Get rid of the concealment. Get rid of the stigma. Get rid of the hiding and the branding. And move on. And Nami does it so well. So, I want to thank uh, Nami for asking me to do this again. I did it last year, and my outfit last year that I, quote, modeled was a little bit different than this year's. This year, I decided to put on a, an outfit that I wore at the wedding of a uh, resident of mine. It's called a Shivani. Yeah.